Today we're going to ride along with Jeff Petrowich and his 1943 Willys MB on the Bronco Falls Trail in the Logandale, Nevada trail system. This first obstacle is gatekeeper obstacle. It's a pretty steep wall and uh, with a big hole in the middle of it that you have to straddle to get over. You it's gotta really stay straight there, Jeff. Yeah, big enough to swallow with right uh, Bam Bam yeah. right down in it. And Jeff's trying to keep here. his driver's side tire up on the wall well, on the left side, the next, and then uh, the passenger slipping. tire needs to stay up on the right. Your front's, your front's okay for now. It's real close. You need to keep it straight. But your I think this is his second or third try now. to get up this. Yeah, if you, if you can keep, if you, keep going up, straight up. Well, you're in the hole. I know, I'm going to get farther in the hole. You're about as far as you can get in the hole. See if it'll climb right there. Okay, whoa, whoa. Take a rope. So with I, I kind of encouragement from me, think, Jeff decided to yeah. run his winch line out and take a rope yeah. and get up over this. We yeah. looked at this video later and decided that in the daylight and with some more time to work at it, we think Jeff drive. could drive this obstacle. There were a bunch of Jeeps stacked up behind us in this group and we didn't want to hold the group up. but. It's a tough obstacle and it's no easy thing to climb and it'd be sketchy, but we think we could drive it. We're, we're driving this trail at night in the dark, uh, which makes it also a big difference on your confidence level and your what you can see and kind of figure out. I threw in a couple videos of these bigger Jeeps driving this obstacle just so you can kind of see the difference. When they're big wide things, they can just roll right over it with almost not even noticing it. Not to say they didn't have any trouble. One of the Jeeps later on got into that hole and flopped on the side and had to be pushed out. It seems like a lot of the obstacles in this trail were down, and which is kind of a sketchy thing for us in our little short wheelbase Jeeps. They're only 80 inches. Let me look. And especially in the dark. Um, my camera is really picking up a lot more okay. light you're, you're than the, the natural here. eye can pick up. I don't know where you're at over there. And yeah. Jeff really can't see what's ahead of him. He has to rely a lot on the people around him to help him see what's happening. Keep, keep coming straight, Jeff. We went to this event down in Logandale, Nevada, uh, called the Hump and Bump. It's put on by the Vegas Valley Four Wheelers Club. It's a pretty fun okay. event. If you ever have a chance to go to it, I would recommend it. Uh, this, this, uh, this great people and fun time. Light. Great trails. If you if you go when it that front tire drops, then you need to roll through it. There you go. Again, another drop down. Um, it's really hard to tell from the videos how steep these really are. This one you can kind of tell how steep it is from the video. Let's drive out. This, this spot here is kind of a big Z turn and you have to turn right and then left again. Jeff's already made the right turn, 
So as you climb up, you turn right and you keep climbing. And then when you get over this little hump here, you drop down and then make a sharp left turn only to climb up again. As I'm watching this, I'm, I'm listening to myself, kind of try to give him some directions. It kind of makes me laugh because the reason I'm not yeah, driving my good. Jeep on this trail is because I can't see in the dark and I didn't want to drive my Jeep in that the dark. Fun. So I rode along with Jeff. That was so fun. I'm just laughing at myself, trying to tell him how to drive in the dark. Made the made the left turn and then climbing back up again. Jeff and Bam Bam will give us a little Jeep wave with that driver's rear tire right here. <laughs> this is the last climb that I've got in the video. You can see it looks a lot light more light right here but that's just because some of the big jeeps were behind us shining their headlights up on this this slope that Jeff's climbing up. Once he gets up and over this there's a little drop down on the other side and then we drive out to the road and back back out. This was a fun event. I thank the Vegas Valley Four Wheelers for the great event. Thanks to Jeff for the ride on this trail, and thank you all for coming along.